That's a lot of Lego. How's it going everyone? I'm Stonewall and I just went to my parents' storage and found all my childhood Lego. So I remember having a lot of Lego growing up. This is a little more than I was expecting, but I thought let's get it out and see what I got. And maybe if there's any good sets, I will build them up again and put them on my channel. So the boxes are kind of big, so I'm just gonna go through one of them at a time. First one's a good one. The first Slave one from Lego, the Star Wars line. This is when the Star Wars line just started out. Um, as you can tell, compared to today's models, it is pretty rudimentary, but man, let me tell you, when this came out, this was awesome. I remember as a kid thinking it looked so accurate. And I just like how the, when you lift it up, the wings do that. And I think there was a little, yeah, there's a little storage thing here. Let's see if, Oh, I think he's in there. Yep. Han Solo, frozen carbonite. I think this model gets made fun of a lot nowadays, but man, back in the day, this model was really cool. We got like an RC car. I think this one was my brother's. Me and my brother both had Legos, and um, I don't remember this one, so I think this was his. Man, look at these base plates. They are huge and really dirty. These are huge base plates. 48 by 48. Those are big. We got the user guide for Lego Mindstorms. It was like the robotics programming kind of kit. Uh, I remember when that came out. I think I was a little too young for it. I didn't quite get the hang of it. A lot of these are still built, actually. There's a little race car. Ah, here we go. Oh, this wing came off. The original snow speeder. Man, I really like the snow speeder. I still do. I think it's one of my favorite vehicles from Star Wars. This one is really cool. It is obviously really dirty, like most of these, and in desperate need of a rebuild. That one I might rebuild. It's got the Naboo fighter. I think that was my brother's. We got, I think this is Obi-Wan's starship in one of the prequel. Part of an A-wing with a police officer driving. Oh, there's one of the wings. I got some Bionicles here. I know Bionicles a big deal with some people. I never really was that big of a fan. I thought they were just kind of weird. So I don't really know the backstory and lore on all these, but I got several Bionicle figures. Martian vehicle or something. Oh, a lot of these are actually bagged up. Oh, there we go. Another snow speeder. That one's in better shape. This one's probably mine. Such a cool set. Had both drivers and looks really close to the first one, at least at the time I thought it did. Obviously they got better models now, like the UCS one and stuff, but that one's really cool. <laughs> this bag, it's just like a cellophane bag. It's not even a, in a Ziploc. Yep, got the X-Wing fighter. Ooh. This is the Y-Wing and TIE fighter set. Yeah, Y-Wing and TIE Fighter set. This is a cool one. I love the old logo for the Star Wars series for Lego, how they're like Lego-fied characters. I just think that's so better. I know later they switched to like actual pictures from the movies and this is way better. Oh, this is an old, uh, I'll have to check what system this is. It's one of the space themes. It's all like the orange trans pieces, the big walker robot. I think I have some more of those. Ooh, here's a, one of the aquatic themes. I know they were like the Stingray people, the Aquanauts, I think were the yellow ones, which I know I have some of those sets. And I think there was another tribe as well. That's 
pretty cool. Like a Stingray underwater submarine thing. I remember what a lot of these sets looked like, but I have way more of them than I thought I did. I thought I just saw a lot of them in magazines and stuff, but I had a lot of good sets. Looks like another Star Wars one here. Ooh, the Sith Infiltrator. All right, I remember this one being my brother's. Um, a lot of the Star one, a lot of the Star Wars ones. I don't remember whose is whose, but I remember this was my brother's. But that Darth Maul character was so cool to get when Episode One came out. He was definitely the best character. Either that or Jar Jar. Ooh, that one's heavy. All right, box number two. Oh, here we go. Here's the front doors of that yellow Aquanox headquarters. That's what I'm talking about. That was an awesome set. I definitely want to rebuild that one. Looks like here's part of it. Oh, I think the other one were the sharks. Or like the stingrays, the sharks, and these yellow themed ones. Oh no. There's gonna be Lego all over my room after this. Let's see what this set is. Another underwater one. I don't remember these guys. Are there four underwater people? This is like a fourth one. Green thing. Ah, there's the shark people. Man, so many of these huge trans clear pieces. Those are, I don't think they do that anymore. There's a space one. So many big yellow pieces. Oh, look at that. There's a little stone wall mock for you. A little space, looks like an RV starfighter. <laughs> it's kind of like that thing from Spaceballs or what it reminds me of now. But... Whoa, look at that technique. I don't even remember this one. This one must have been my brother's. I don't even know what to do with this. This is just tons of Lego in here. Oh, here's some here's some instructions. Let's look at those first. Oh, look at that. A sp space police. Ah. All right, let's look at these instructions. Oh yeah, the Gungan sub. That one was my brother's. That was a cool set. I think this last escape pod comes off. Ooh. The insectoids. Yeah, these are fun. Yeah, I think this is, yeah, there's the visor right there. It's like a, I think it was like a space robot thing that either they turned into insects or they were insects, hybrids kind of things. I don't remember. Nice little pirate ship there. Ooh, there's the Imperial shuttle. That's probably the first one they made, I assume. Actually, it looks pretty good. There's that RC car we saw earlier. Oh yeah. This is the Technic Supercar. Oh yeah. That's the first book. This thing is awesome. Um, I think this is in someplace else at my parents. I didn't get this today. Um, but yeah, this is still built in a box somewhere. I'll have to get this one and look at it and possibly rebuild it. This is like the first, I mean, Technic supercars are crazy nowadays, but this one was really cool. I think this was the first, first one I remember. First really cool one though. The motor, pistons went up and down and everything. And it was a convertible too. You could push a button and the convertible top would come up. It was pretty cool. There's a, like an F1 Technic. Man, we had a lot of Technic. I don't remember all this. I remember that red car though. Technic Slammer Turbo. I guess you hit that thing and it shoots it off. I don't remember that. That looks cool though. Oh, there's Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. Ah, there we go. The shark sub. Yeah, this one's really cool. I remember playing with this one a lot. Oh, there's the flag for that pirate ship. Oh. 
new in box. A little box damage, but man, this one's not even open. I think it's, it's actually this guy. I guess we had two of them. <laughs> that one's not even open. <laughs> Technic Motor. I guess that was the first motors they made, I'm not sure. There's that new Naboo fighter we saw earlier. Oh yeah, I saw the top of that. It's like a Life on Mars theme. I don't remember that. That must have been my brother's time. Oh yeah, there's that Extremes one. What's that car? That one's pretty cool. There's a little like adventure set. A little car, bridge, swamp, swamp boat, fan boat, and a plane. A little alligator. That, that's a pretty cool. Oh, here's some, here's some more classic space. That red and black robot. That guy's cool. I don't remember having that. These look really old. There's a Bionicle. Liwa. I assume these are like the original guys because I remember when it first came out. Um, I don't remember if my brother liked it or if we just got them because it was new, but I always thought they were kind of weird. I don't know. I like more of the Lego system. There's another one. There's another Life on Mars. Ah, there's a Slave One. Still like that. I don't care what people say. Ooh, Lego Studios. I didn't know I ever had any of these, of this lineup. Comes with a, like a ramp base plate. I don't know if I still have that or not. Looks like there was like a Lego camera. I guess you can make film or probably stop motion or something with them. I don't think I ever had that. I think I just had this set. Little helicopter, little red biplane. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I remember back in the day the instructions would show you pictures of alternate builds, but not show you actually how to do it which I guess would encourage you to be creative and figure it out yourself, but I just remember I'd be like, oh, I want to build that, and I don't know how. Another slave one? Do we have two? We might have each had one, I don't know. Um, if we do, cool. There's that snow speeder, droid fighter, Anakin's pod racer, that one was a cool set. They ended up making it better. Uh, later they had some clear Technic pieces, I think, but you can see that these supporting things are tan and they're not supposed to be there, but that's just how it can hold up. But you just kind of got to imagine they're not there. A little construction set. Here's the A Wing. Oh, yeah. The speeder bikes from Return of the Jedi. I always thought these were cool. I'm not the biggest fan of Return of the Jedi. I don't like the Ewoks, but man, these speeder bikes were awesome. Another little insectoids. There we go. The first land speeder. I know they made this set a ton, but yeah, that's the best one right there. Do we have another A Wing too? I guess me and my brother both got some of these sets. Another Bionicle guy. Oh, that's like a little magazine. Okay, here's some of the underwater ones. There was Aquazone. Oh, Hydronauts. That's what they were called. The other were Hydronauts. And the Stingray people were Stingrays. Insectoids. Hmm, I don't, I don't see the other two. But there was that green one and uh, the shark one too. But maybe these, those were earlier. And here is the best series ever, Lego Rock Raiders. Yep. I don't think I had any of those sets. I definitely had the video game. I played that on the computer all the time. Uh, even years and years later, always trying to find a way to play it on a computer that was way too new, new for it. Uh, I still have it. Uh, it's over there, I think. Um, I don't know how to play it on my computer these days, but man, still holding out for that sequel. Oh, here we go. Here's the Star Wars lineup. Let's see. Man, I think we had a ton of these sets. Man, we had pretty much every set in that first lineup. <laughs> this just says bag two. It's like the front end of a car. Maybe it was that slammer turbo thing. I don't know. I don't even know what that's for. Oh, there's a big 
Lego motor. Look how big those things used to be. This was that like Arctic theme. That one was really cool. I know there's a big play, base plate set of that somewhere. There's way too much in here. That's not Lego. <laughs> there's another one of those rockets. I guess my parents got me and my brother like one of each of everything. Another insectoids. Man, I don't know what else is in here. It's just so many loose Lego. <laughs> There's an old Lego boat. That one floats. That one was cool. Oh. Duplo. I don't think we kept the Duplo. That might be one of our last uh, pieces from it. All right, so there's a ton of more Lego in here. I'm just gonna assume it's most of those parts from the instruction guides that we saw and didn't see the sets for yet. So I'm gonna leave that and move on to the next and final bin. Uh, all right, the third and final bin. Let's see what's in this one. Whoa. I did have a Rock Raider set. Man, I didn't think I had any of these. I knew a friend growing up had like a ton of them and I played that video game a ton. I would still play today if I could. Yeah, I had at least one Lego Rock Raider set. That's pretty cool. Wonder if I have any more. Oh yeah. This was a big Octan diesel truck, like a front part of a semi truck. This set was really cool. Uh, I think it's Actually worth some money actually nowadays too. I'll build that one up. Ah, here's another one of those older space robots. I remember that one. Uh, something about that robot's head. I just really liked that one. Space one, looks like a rocket. No clue what that is. Oh, I think that's a Slammer Technic car. This is big. What is this? Colorful. Oh, nice. It's that triple pod racer set. I didn't think we had this one. I thought we just had the Anakin's one, but I guess we had all three, or maybe we had both. I'll let you know if I find another Anakin's, but oh, that's cool. Came with, what was his name, Greedo? No, Silbulba. Silbulba and Gascano's pods as well. I remember that was a cool, really big set back in the day. Uh, just ignore all those really long tan pieces. No clue what that is. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's some of the big old base plates. This is an Arctic base thing. I forgot what the set was called. This set was really cool. Ah, here's the big base for the Aquanauts, Hy Hydronauts, the Hydronauts headquarters. I think that one had two, the big building on top. Oh, I think this one came with the shark submarine. Speeder. This one is huge. I think this is Lego. At least I remember being Lego, but there's no studs. That might not be Lego. I don't know. Let me know. Base plate. Ah, here we go. That set. Hydronauts HQ. That one is awesome. I definitely want to build that one again. Man, look at all these giant base plates. They don't do that anymore, do they? Oh, yeah, we had Anakin's Pod Racer too. Wait, had I already seen that one yet? There we go, first B-Wing. I remember not even knowing what ship that was when it came out. Whoa, look at that. Wright Brothers' first airplane. That's cool, I don't remember that set at all. That one looks pretty cool. Another big insectoid set. 
<laughs> there we go. We did have another Slave 1. This is a cool set. Let's see if we got another Han Solo. Yep. Wait, this isn't the same box, is it? Nope. We got two. <laughs> another A-Wing. Man. Oh. There's that pirate ship. All right, so a pretty successful childhood Lego haul there. Man, we had tons of Star Wars. This is all Star Wars. I think pretty much all the original sets, some of them we had two of each. We have, what, some of the bigger underwater sets, some awesome giant big base plates, some old space, a giant octan truck. That was really cool. And one Lego Rock Raiders. Man, me and my brother were living it up as kids and didn't even know it. Thanks, Mom and Dad. So thanks, everyone, for joining in with me. That was a lot of fun to relive some of my childhood memories and just look at all these awesome sets. I don't even remember half of these. Let me know in the comments if any of y'all had these sets growing up or still have them and what was your favorite one. And also, let me know which one you want me to build. Normally, I do the... Laws bricks, that's kind of what I collect nowadays, but I think it'd be fun to rebuild some of these old Lego sets, so let me know which one you want to see. And if you had a good time like I did, be sure to like the video. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe so you can see the next video, which might be one of these sets. See ya. My hands are so dirty. Alright, what do I do with all this now?